Under what circumstances would U.S. forces launch an attack on Iran? So look, our focus is on de-escalating the situation. Uh, we have put these additional capabilities into the region to enable us, as I highlighted, to protect our forces, but also to support the defense of Israel should it be attacked. Don't you need to send a clear signal about what Iran, if they do it, if they cross it, you will attack them? I think we are sending an extremely clear signal, which is that we are going to support the defense of Israel. Over to Idris. If you do this, launch this major attack, the U.S. military will strike back. Why can't you just clearly say that? I think we've been very clear that we're going to support the defense of Israel, and I'm not going to speculate about potential future attacks by Iran. Secretary Austin will take every possible step to defend Israel. Does that include taking offensive strikes against Iran? Look, again, we are focused on supporting the defense of Israel, de-escalating the situation, and preventing a broader conflict. Rule what out. Rule what out taking strikes against Iran. You're saying the U.S. taking preemptive strikes? Preemptive. If Israel is attacked in a major... So you're getting into hypotheticals. You started it with if, and I'm going to not get into hypothetical. Strategic goal here is to de-escalate the situation and prevent a wider regional war. And that requires diplomacy, it requires military force presence, and it requires uh, being smart about how we go about doing this. We're not seeking conflict. We don't want conflict. But we're going to do what we need to do to support the defense of Israel and support the protection of our forces. But again, the underlying message here is we're working to de-escalate tensions. No one wants a wider war.